Lamium purpurium. Dead nettle. Purple archangel or purple dead nettle. This has sprung up in my daughter's garden box. She's not very happy about it, but I sure am. This is a plant that, for whatever reason, I don't see a lot of, depending on where I'm going. And this is a plant yet that is so incredibly common throughout Europe, Northern Africa, the UK, and here in Canada and the United States. Very few, very few plants are hardy enough to emerge in April. But this is one of them. And I guess in a way you could almost consider this purple dead nettle to be a harbinger of spring. Let's see here. Okay. Purple dead nettle takes advantage of open expanses of soil because it has virtually no competition. Let's see, we got uh, maybe Creepin' Charlie's coming in over there. A little bit of dandelion, but that's okay. As you can see though, no competition. So it certainly has decided to take root here. Okay, so this plant is a member of the mint family and it forms ground cover mats, as you can see like that. Now the leaves, let's see, they kind of resemble those in the nettle family, but of course it's not a nettle, therefore earning its name dead nettle. And depending on the type of soil that this grows in will depend on the color. Sometimes this is more, the leaves are more purpley, some of them uh, more pinky, some are actually red. But it's the soil conditions that will dictate the color of that. Depending on where you live, this is a plant that, it's an annual plant, and it can pop up in winter or in the summer months. Being in the mint family, let's see... All right, um, you can see, there we go. You can see that the leaves are growing opposite. And check out that stem, hang on here. You can clearly see that is a mint by the square stem. The blooming period of this plant is anywhere from April, oh, yikes, sorry about that, April, well into May. And when it does bloom, they do last for up to about six weeks. The root system is that of like a tap root. I will actually, I might, I'm going to dig one up later because <laughs> I'm taking one home and I will take a photo of it and add it on to the end of this video. The flowers are an important source of pollen and nectar for beneficial insects. And because this is so early in the season, it's important that they have this right now. Just like when the dandelion blooms. So, as far as food goes, this is edible and it's not really tasty. It certainly doesn't have the taste uh, like a lot of other mints, but it is highly beneficial for us because the nutrient density is by far more um, by far more dense than any of the groceries that or produce that we can buy in a grocery store. This is also a plant that is viewed as medicinal. Some of its uh, this whole plant, actually, the stem, the flower, the leaves, is an astringent, diaphoretic, diuretic, and it's a styptic. It is actually known to be a styptic, which I think is really cool because that's just like yarrow and broadleaf plantain. So let me see. I've got to move it a little bit here. There we go. There's some more. And there we go, purple dead nettle. 
There is one plant that this can be mistaken for, and that's henbit. And I'll put a link to henbit at, below so you can go to my page to see what it looks like. And here we go. I'll do that when I post this. There's more of a pinky hue here. Beautiful, beautiful plant. And there we are. Purple dead nettle. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for your support by subscribing and sharing my vids. And of course, an extra special thank you for those thumbs up.